Sensitive viewers may want to skip this video. Please scroll past. Uh, and I'm going to try my best to bleep this out, okay? But this is exactly what I'm talking about, where we got people who pledge their allegiance to Nazi Germany. They pledge their allegiance to the Confederacy working in our justice system. It's not just the police that attracts bad people. Some people go into police work to protect people. Others just go in to beat up black people. It's the same deal with judges. You got a lot of people that go into the military to shoot Muslims. And a lot of people are attracted to the power of government so that they can rig the system against minorities. Why are the lights when, when I pull up in the whip, they be saying, God damn. Why are your lights on? They're like, pull up, pull up. And mom's yelling, beep, beep. Oh, beep. Beep! Beep! <laughs> Look, I'm oh, that's me. No, that's I came from the back side. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of work I'm going to be doing when I'm president in 2024. Enough's enough. You know, the EU is talking about making that an actual crime. They're talking about making a hate speech a crime. So you got a judge committing an international crime. And what would happen under my administration is we would initiate a trace to see if she's actually connected with any of the hate groups. And if so, that would be immediate discharge from the job and slapped with uh, terrorism charges. And there ought to be some sort of law in place already that, you know, a judge automatically loses their job if they're using hate speech. I doubt there is, but, you know, once we start shaking out these white supremacists and terrorists out of our system, you know, that will enable us to actually pass some common sense laws for a change. It's going to be a pretty rapid transition from getting rid of those white supremacists and terrorists out of our government decreasing the radicalization with the fake news, creating some real penalties for them. We will push on the international law to actually go through with creating that law that hate speech is a crime so that the U.S. is forced to accept that. International criminal, she should be out of a job immediately and every case that she judged should be re-examined to see if you know, the sentencing averaged a lot higher for people of color because, you know, it did. Exactly how the Kyle Rittenhouse and Matthew McConaughey go off scot-free.